myself and my wife were married for the last two and a half, three years. We were expecting our baby Grace. We were told the news that our baby had listened syphily, would have no quality of life. The day that we had to terminate was uh, without a doubt the worst day of my life. I have been a widow for nearly 11 years. My husband had heart trouble from the age of 42. We went to bed on Christmas Eve and I spoke to him at 12 o'clock and at quarter to three he passed away next to me. It was Jackie that we lost, my older sister. She made a doctor's appointment, but on this particular day, uh, she got off the train travelling back from work and she collapsed. She had suffered a brain aneurysm. It's very sudden and very traumatic as well for us. It changes you as a person and it's something you always have to deal with. Before I contacted Cruz, I was dealing with the dead, thinking I would get over it really soon thinking I, I could move on really quickly. I wasn't. Um, it was very much far from the truth. I thought in my head, I'm strong. I don't need help. My family were grieving. My, my daughter was grieving. My son was grieving. My grandchildren were grieving. I couldn't put my grief on their shoulders. So I, I, I had to be strong. In the days and the weeks after, you just function because, you know, death is busy. There are things that have to be done, you know, an inquest and death certificates to be signed and the funeral to organise and you're kept busy. So I think it was only once I returned to my job that I began to thaw. My experience from my crew's volunteer, she managed to listen to every detail of what I was going through in my work life, in my personal life, and she would pinpoint that I would be, you know, obviously not just going through grieving, but also through a, a state of trauma. From the time that I started coming to the group, I was making my way back up that mountain. No longer I was locking it away in the back of my head. I was taught that it's good to let it out. You have to let it out sometimes. And now I can pass that on to new people that come in every week. I decided what would work better for me would be the one-to-one -one, face to face sessions. It was when they ended that I thought, I'm actually beginning to live again as opposed to exist. I was just functioning, getting up in the morning. But that time with my supporter showed me that I could still live. Me and my wife were so overwhelmed by the support the crews gave us. I've made such lovely friends. We've all been through a bereavement. Everybody there instinctively knew I didn't have to say too much, they knew. Best phone call I ever made.